This is running. Oh, he tried to run over the police car. Wow, the new here at noon. That is some new video showing the chaotic scene that unfolded in a Gastonia neighborhood yesterday. You could see there that the police officers were chasing a suspect through the street there, accused in a kidnapping. He got into that white car there, backed up, appeared to even hit an officer, run him over with a vehicle. Then, as you heard, there were gunshots. Meantime, investigators are trying to find out what exactly led up to that deadly situation. Queen City News Northeast Bureau Chief Sydney Heiberger tells us what neighbors saw. Good, neighbors on North Edgemont Avenue say it's not unusual to see a few police cars around every now and then, but it is unusual for a scene to look like this. Well, I was coming home from work and I come around the corner and I saw all the police cars and I'm like, what in the world? Gastonia PD says they received a call around 1230 on Wednesday afternoon from a family member of two young boys at Precious Moments Daycare. They say a man who was not authorized to take the children picked them up. The suspect's stepfather says the kids were his little brothers-in-law. Whether he had the right to have them here, I don't, I don't know nothing about that. That was my son. I let him in the door. The investigation took police here, where they found the two children unharmed in a home and Jason Lipscomb trying to flee in a car. During the course of that investigation, the uh, suspect was operating a vehicle, struck one of our officers, and uh, it, at least one officer discharged uh, his service weapon. The officer was taken to the hospital. Lipscomb was shot by police and died on the scene, and his family was left in the neighborhood confused. I just see the car trying to get away. So while I push my daughter in the house, I hear multiple gunshots go off, a bunch of them. When I look down the block, I'm sorry. That was our Sydney Heiberger reporting. A Gastonia Police Department spokesperson says that the officer involved does have serious injuries but is expected to be okay.